What's up guys, it's Fritz here, and this is take number whatever, because my voice kept cracking on that what's up guys. So here we go, this is it, this is a new tutorial, and it's pretty goddamn awesome, if you ask me. So what it is, is basically, you're going to be coming up here with your spaz, going the pew pew pew, and then it's going to go on the top, and then on the bottom, and it's kind of cool. Now there's more ways you can do it, you can make like a freeze frame and do it, but I'm, I like my way where it kind of shows motion as it's doing it, it just kind of makes it look more full. It's very clean, and um, you notice there's a little bit of like black down here, but if you have black bars to cover it up, you won't even notice. I was just too lazy to put them back on. And that's it. So let's just jump right into it. So we're going to delete this, delete this, delete this, delete this. And we're just going to start here. So we've got here um, our clips all set up and ready. So we've got our clip on the bottom and our clip on the top that we want to transition into. So what we're going to do is go to our clip on the top. And we're going to go to the first frame in it. And we're going to hit G on our keyboard. So G. And we're going to select here. And then we're going to go select here. And we're going to select here. And then here. Okay, there we go. So we got our layers selected. And you can see here, you can use your arrow keys to kind of make it a little bit more perfect if you want. Um, I show you, I'll show you a secret kind of I have. Um, it makes it a little bit nicer, but yeah. Um, is it still moving? No, it's okay. So you can see we got our adjustment layer on, and it's not, or not our adjustment layer, our mask on, and it's nice and pretty. And what we want to do is actually copy our top layer. So hit Control C and then V on your keyboard, and then hit this arrow down over here on the layer on the top. Go to Mask and then invert it so that way it comes over there. So now we're gonna animate them in, and this is the easy part. So hit P on your keyboard on both of them, and we're gonna do the one on the top first. So that would be the top layer that we made. You can see because the dots go up there. And we are going to see the position where it says 640. We're just going to drag that all the way over to this side. So I don't know why there's black up there. I don't know, whatever. And we're going to hit keyframe on our keyboard. Then we're going to go over a little bit. So I don't know, about that far. We're going to change it back to 640 for the number. And then there it kind of comes in on the side. Now don't move your cursor. You're going to go to the bottom layer now keyframe and change it but make it go out the other direction so see the top one came in from the left this one's coming in from the right so bring it out and then go over sort of guesstimate around the same distance it doesn't have to be perfect and then change it to 640 again so you, sh you should see how it makes that x so like there's the top one if we actually turn the layer off um so there we can't even see the bottom one now you can see how it just kind of simply slides in like a sliding transition and then the bottom one does the same thing but on the bottom and it kind of one triggers the other so you can see how it goes like round and then round and it kind of comes in and it's all at the same time and it's kind of cool so what we want to do is make it look a little bit nicer though so we're going to highlight these four keyframes right click go to keyframe assistant and hit easy ease and it kind of just makes them a little bit nicer it's like eases them in and it's just a little bit more of a pleasure to watch and that's important so now one thing we can do, and if you're just making a small short edit, you can use this. If you're doing a full out montage, it works too, but it's, I don't know, it's, you, can, you can do it other ways. We're going to make a null layer, a null object, and we're going to drag these widths on the three layers over here. You're going to drag them and bring them up to the null. So one, two, three, and that makes them parent the null. So you just drag the widths up like, like that. All right. So anything we do to the null is going to happen to the layers on the bottom. So what we're going to do is add a little bit of wiggle. So what we're going to do is make sure your null layer is selected, hit P. Now hold Alt on your keyboard, hit the little stopwatch, and type in wiggle 1, 12. So there you go, wiggle 1, 12. Then just click anywhere else, and then you've got that on. Now you can see here how it kind of, like, they're moving a little bit. You can see how it's not staying in one spot. Now you're going to hit the null, go to R, Alt, click the, on the stopwatch for rotation. So hold Alt and click, then type in wiggle. 1 comma 2. That's a good number. These are just mine. But and you can see you have these black lines up here on the side. So what we'll do is we're going to actually scale it up now. So hit S and just scale it up a little bit. So like 107% I find works really nicely. It doesn't really get any black bars and it or any black lines on the side if you do um you're just a horrible editor, sorry. So we've got that and it makes them look a lot nicer. So now one thing you can see we've got this like black line here. And how to get rid of that is basically we need to bring on our clip and we're going to put it um, down here. We can, we don't need this um, 
the of this first clip anymore so we can just go right here and just hit alt and bracket and get rid of it completely since you, you're not gonna you don't even see it anymore and uh, what we're going to do is actually split these last layers so the the top layers that we animated in and we are going to go over and we are going to look on our um, zoom in here see what's happening yeah so we're gonna look on our uh, bottom layer where we just added where we've not touched anything and we're gonna kind of want to sync it up with up here so you can see there how it is and then there and that looks sort of good but we want to parent it up with the null object so just hit, hit the whip and go up that way it'll match up with it and it's kind of pretty so there we go and it goes like that and it's like sure there we go so that's it that's the edit um you don't need to add this null so like i'll take it out it still looks pretty clean and like smooth so you see there so it kind of skips back we just got to adjust it a little bit so there we go it's you just got to play with it to be honest there's not really you know that's how if like if you're really really picky you can get rid of that line just you got to sync it up kind of the way i'm doing it so there it's he's farther up so we're gonna bring it here and then like that so there you go now you can't even really notice if you have cc and stuff going on and be perfect so that's it that's the tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it thoroughly i put in a lot of time and effort actually probably more than you think there we go now an hour now we're men see that don't even notice it switches it's beautiful. And then you add your color correction and stuff. Um, your motion blur and all that. So there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, click the like button if you um, found the video entertaining. And one thing I'm going to start up doing is actually, if you guys use and are using my tutorials and stuff for your edits, uh, feel free to leave them as a video response down below. So, like, you know, that's pretty much their, like, examples in case people aren't sure what to do. Um, you can just click on a video response down below and you can watch what you're going to learn or, you know, just help out. Also, the other thing is I try to get to each comment that I can. Um, or if I find the answers, like, you know, already in the comments or it's re or I said it in the video, I'm not going to reply. If it's something new that I've not heard before, a really good question, I will answer it, though. But um, if you guys are watching, I need your help. If you see a, somebody who asks a question and you know the answer... Um, please, you know, help him out and give him the answer, and, uh, I do notice that stuff, I know there is people who watch these videos, and they do help other people, and it's, you know, I appreciate you guys so much, and I'm gonna try to figure out a way to give back to you, so that's one way you guys can help me out a lot, is just by helping other people out in the comments, and, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed, subscribe, like, comment, whatever the new things people say nowadays, my name is... Fritz, Fritzy Poo, and I'm out. Bye.